Today on the show, I'm happy to have Yogesh Sharma. He's the chairman of Mom's This World. They build to fuel innovation and deliver success. So over the past decade, you have launched multiple ventures in multiple industries. So I want to hear how you're able to manage all of these different businesses. Now, that's an excellent question. When it comes to passion, there's no limit, right? So it's like self-driven inner desire you have to do something, then you have all the ways open for you. So it's about how I see businesses. And one of the core concepts which I follow is the human first approach. And that's where I look into and I rope in like people who are passionate about that particular line of business and then accordingly go with that and grow that business. So that's, that has been my mantra for so far to drive in that area. So what are some of these industries you've jumped around into? All right. So there have been varied industries, construction to begin with, and then information technology, mobile gaming, digital advertising, manufacturing. So these are some of the industries which I've ventured into so far. What are you focusing on today? Today, as the talk of the town, artificial intelligence. So now, and I have been into this field for more than 20 years, 25 years close to that, because first stint with the supercomputing when it happened in 97, 98. So since then, I have been working a lot on these type of fields. But so now it has, catch up, it has caught up more. And last five years, we have been providing AI-enabled solutions through Mansis uh, to various our customers in different segments, the automotive industry, uh, insurance industry, I would say, and uh, healthcare, uh, uh, financial institutions, and utility companies. So that, those are a few which we have provided solutions. So currently our focus is to be AI enabled organization and to help other small and medium enterprises to be AI enabled organizations. Because without AI enablement, there's no future. Everybody knows that. So that's the kind of focus right now. So these previous sec sectors you're in, did you close those businesses, sell those businesses? Could you go through the, the process? It, yes, absolutely. The business which was started in 2010, 11, after a couple of years of success of that, we sold that business. And then I started a couple of others and then divested from that. And this is one of the businesses which is running the longest one. And this is to core to my heart, the Mansis the business, the information technology. So that has been going on and we have a vision to provide a lot of different types of services through this. So it has been like that. One of the business which we wrapped up, which did, we did not sell or, or, or divest from that perspective, that was a failure in a way that there have been multiple lessons learned, so to speak, but it was a good learning of a million dollar or so. But then four or five years, it was a good ride, I would say. So you're very calculated in, okay, I'm going to operate the business for a particular amount of time. Then I'm going to hire people. Then I'm going to move out of it. Then I'm going to be the chairman. Then I'm going to start another one. So <laughs> can you walk us through... Because that's not normal, right? Most people get stuck in their business. They're running their business. They don't know how to pull themselves out. So I want to hear what you do to be able to be like basically an expert at pulling yourself out of businesses. Yeah. So that's a really interesting question. When it comes to your liking about something and you start something, that there has to be a path charted out. So you, there, always you have to have a goal in mind, right? So whatever the businesses which I started were like, in the segments where I have not been associated for that segment before that, right? Then I kept myself like, okay, I have a target that till that time I will run that business. And then after that, I will have to just take myself away. However, it is very difficult process to do that. No doubt about it. Because then you have a running business and you see the profit being generated and all that stuff. So it's a little enticing to be attached to it forever. But that's where the kind of detachment feeling will have to be brought in. And there's one specific, I would say, saying in one of the old scriptures in India, which is by the name Bhagavad Gita. So there is a kind of, you be in something and simultaneously you detach from that thing. So that is a very core concept of it. So I believe in that and I'm able to pull myself out of that. So once you, is it Basically, when it gets to a certain financial place, the business that you're like, okay, this is cash flowing at this level. I can now hire this type of individual. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is. Because at, at the end of the day, when we talk about expanding a business, 
it requires more capital or planning. Financial planning is very important, right? So we have to define our goals from that perspective up, up to this level. If I reach and then I will have to expand, then this much cash flow needs to be generated to sustain that expansion. So these are the kind of things go in mind while planning for those. So you, you basically get in there to build the system, build the business. And then it's a matter of, okay, now it's time. Now it's time to de delegate everything and yes. really scale this thing to the next level. Absolutely. There are two important aspects to that. Number one is we have to really look into that, how we empower people whom we hire. So that builds a sense of ownership in them and then make sure that the people are really attached to the core business passionately. And then they will be able to do more justice to what they do. So that sense of ownness needs to be created. That is one part of it. Second is when we talk about growing something to the next level, then we will have to have the minds which are aligned with your thought process. And you'll have to have different thinking as well. Because many times the decision-making requires a diversified mind coming together and thinking in a single direction cohesively. So that's what, and everybody has it, their own expertise, right? So that they will have to bring in that and, and showcase that. And then that adds a lot of value in the organization. From a capital standpoint, are you of the mindset that I use venture capital, I use bank loans? What are the different creative ways that you structure these things? So the, the, in my opinion, the best way to create is the self-funded and generate cash flow from the business itself to boost itself. However, that's a slow process. If somebody wants to grow exponentially, there has to be a funding from the outside also. That could come in the form of bank loans or funding from the VCs and all that stuff. However, I'm personally not in favor of, and I'm not that kind of I don't like the VC round of funding those kind of things because that's a different connotation. And it's a personal choice, of course. And in my opinion, the self-funded is the best thing and it will actually give you the sustainability for the long term. You may not have an exponential growth, so to speak, but then you will have a long runway to go for. And, and there will be an inflection point when you will actually gain a lot of tremendous traction from the industry. And... When that happens, then sky is the limit. So you typically go with the bootstrap self-funded route and exactly. then try to get the things cash flowing. Absolutely. How many, do you only have MomSys running right now or do you still have a couple of the other uh, businesses active? No, I've just come out of all those now on the MomSys is running. That's so is that typical to where you're only focused at one business at a time? Yes, that's one of the learning which I have had in the initial five, six years of entrepreneurship. That focus is very important. And one of the reasons of the big learnings which we had through other ventures. So now I am completely focused on MAMSES because this is what we have to build to the next level. And especially in today's time when we talk about a lot of technological advancements are happening. And unless we focus on those and to build and walk the talk within the organization, we can't sell to the customers. So we have to sell the story after building that story. So that's what we are doing right now. So the current venture, it's uh, more of a consultancy around AI. Is that accurate? Yeah. So it is more than consultancy, actually. So it, it, it includes uh, various aspects. For example, number one is to guide the customer in the right direction from the AI enablement per perspective in different departments of theirs. Number two, how to implement those, not only creating a blueprint of their different departments enablement from AI, but also to which type of AI is more actually favorable or I would say better for their business productivity enhancement from that perspective. So there are few things which are helping in the top line, few things which are helping in the bottom line. So we will have to create that blueprint and help them implement also and advising them on the right type of technology. So we are in the thick of things. So for example, few customers which we are providing services for, we are actually helping them in modernizing their legacy-based platform to the modern technologies, which are the mix of open source and 
the Microsoft technology stack and AI enablement and all that stuff. So these are the kind of things of right from conceptualization to the implementation and getting the ROI from that. So throughout the whole journey, we help our customers. So if one of our listeners wanted to get in touch with your current venture, how could they do so? All right. Wonderful. This is like the, the study which helps, right? So first, somebody will have to do the, the, the study of the landscape of the business and all that stuff. And based on that, we help them walk through the whole, I would say, step-by-step -step journey towards that, that what is your maturity level? For example, we talked to one of the customers recently and we're helping them in creating a framework for their organization based on the AI awareness index. That's something which we are formulating internally. And while we do that, we assess people in the organization, we assess process of the organization, and based on that, we define their journey towards that. So that's the whole process which takes place. Very cool. So thank you, Yogesh, for coming on the show. And make sure if you're interested in, in his services, his website is momsys.com. Thank you, everybody, for listening to another episode of Failing to Success. I'm your host, Chad Kalecki. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.